we're going to finish our topic because uh, this is the last meeting of the year. But we're going to finish that topic. But I want to um, uh, deviate and go to something what we want to do as Christian young uh, uh, people for the next year. Um, we did around Thanksgiving, Micah Pool. We talked about what we were grateful for, right? And Stephen, last night we talked about uh, uh, what we learned. I don't want to do that because I don't want to make it a hey, man, we did this, we talked to this. I wanted to be coming from a standpoint of spiritual, spiritual. What have you learned being around your brothers and sisters? Uh, not necessarily this meeting, but what we've learned being around our brothers and sisters year to year and, and spiritually, um, what have you learned this year and what you want to do, get better in for next year. And I think that'll leave us around about 10 or 15 minutes to finish our lesson and finish up for the year. All right. Uh, again, why it's, it's good to lean on our meeting where we have weekly, because our weekly is only open to us and it allows us to be transparent, but why it's important for us to come together. And uh, what, what have you learned uh, spiritually this year, not necessarily here, but how you hope to get better next year? There's no right answer, um, but we just kind of want to go what's going on. Or, or you can just say what you're grateful for this year. Because 2020 has been a difficult year, but God is still blessed for it. And I want to say this, community-wise, it really opened a lot of doors. We had our elections this year. Uh, financially, we were compensated for some things through industry. We got money and different things where we were able to help the community. Uh, it allowed us to leave a bigger, uh, uh, as I said, an immense footprint on the community this year because of what happened in 2020. Uh, spiritually, because this is the only place that a lot of people will see uh, a church is just coming to our food distribution and things we've done. So um, I, I, I'll ask the Lord to, and, and I'll be transparent here, so you won't be scared to do it there. Um, when this pandemic first hit, being in a ministry and helping Pastor E and helping my brother, I was always there with the word and I was studying and everything. But when this pandemic hit, we said, myself, I was like, well, man, maybe pray to God it'll be a month or, or a couple months and we'll be back to normal. And I find myself immediately, initially not studying as much as I need to. And I was transparent with it last night. I may be the only one here, but I'll take responsibility for it. I wasn't. But the good thing is uh, with the men and everything we did here, it allowed me to focus and get back on track. And I feel like uh, I was able, we were able to make a difference with us coming together and we were able to make a big difference in the community. So I'm excited for what the Lord has for us in 2021. We may have to continue on these routes because more people are able to join who can't come to church because they have kids, but I'm excited what he has for us in the future and me spiritually. So um, 2020, I we know it's been difficult. God is blessed and I'm excited what he's going to do uh, moving forward. So um I just want anyone who's going to watch this, I want them to know how important it is for us to come together. So that's kind of hit it from any one of those angles. I know it's a lot, but whatever you want to talk about, no right or wrong answer. Uh, James, you were gracious to open up the um, room to us. So I, I want to see if you want to lead out, if you don't leave out, lead out, if you don't mind. Well, 2020, <clears throat> uh, the first half or first, I don't know, couple months of the year, I was actually at home trying to heal from a, a work injury when I broke my ankle uh, December last year. And uh, just from that and a lot of the uh, lessons that, we, that we've that we had since I've joined, I, I think it was probably around, I don't know, February, March when I finally joined in the Bible study or whatever. But uh, I, I learned about patience, uh, about having patience and slowing down and, you know, taking my time and, you know, just, just allow life to happen, you know? And, um, cause when I had to break my ankle, it, it, it was, it was, I'm gonna say like it is, it was hell cause I couldn't do anything and not being able to do anything just, 
you know, I'm, I'm a busy body. I always, I'm always having to do something, you know, type of thing. So to, to have to sit down and depend on somebody else and, you know, and just really take time to think and allow myself, to, my mind, my body to rest, you know, it just allowed me to just really appreciate patience and appreciate rest and whatnot. And um, I'm grateful, I mean, for this Bible study because it, it's being able You yeah, muted yourself, Jane. What I need to say, maybe even need to get off my chest or, or whatever, but just to, just to see others like me, you know, regardless of what situation that they're going through. I mean, we all in here know each other. The bulk of us grew up with each other, but just to sit back and just like, man, I just did not know you going, going through something like that, you know, type of, type of ordeal, you know. So to be able to fellowship and, you know, have that safe spot, that safe place to just be able to vent in some cases, some situations, you know, just be able to vent and then double back and learn what the word says about it and how we can address it and how we can allow the Lord to come in and, and use it to, to make us better and blessed. You know, it's, it's amazing. It's wonderful. James, thank you, brother. I appreciate that. And it's not about this. It's, it's about, um, cause you, you can go to something that makes you feel Let's put it this way. I, I said when I was a child, Jane, I said, man, when I get older, I like McDonald's. I was like, dude, I mean, I mean, man, when I could get a job, dude, when I was five years old, eight years old, man, I'm going to get a happy meal all the time, every day, <laughs> every day. <when> I, <laughs> and I'm going to eat donuts every day. And that's good to you, right? And what makes you feel oh, this and that. But is it good for you? You know, is it good for you? If you don't study that word, James, or you just get people, y'all have people in your life just tell you what you want to hear, this, that, this, that. That doesn't help you, man. And y'all seen people who just cheerlead for you. How does that help you if you can't get better? You know, you got to come somewhere where the word arrests you and you, and you uh, go from there. And, and James, I just like what you said. When it happened with you, it made you sit still. Yeah. Watch. So, um, man, God knows what he's doing, you know to make you do what you gotta do, so. Yeah. James, I thank you, I appreciate you for leading off, man, but it's important that we all come together and uh, it's important we don't have to, we can be transparent here, um, but the most important thing is, and I'll say this as I shut that down, we gotta see what the word says. We're not gonna just sit around here and just talk. Yeah. <laughs> and do this, man, go hit it in the face. Nah, we ain't doing that. We're going to see what God says about situations, you know. All right. Anyway, go ahead. I'm sorry. Anybody, anybody else? Spiritual day life and, and what you look forward to next year. James, James, is there anything you look forward to next year getting better in? I'm sorry. Uh, just being better, better, better husband, better father, you know, better servant to the ministry, you know, better video editor, photographer, and it's just better all the way around. And anything that I can be better in, you know, just strive to do better all the way around. Everything you do, that's awesome. All right. Anybody else? Yeah, that's good. That's good. Um, can I go? <laughs> Shoot, it's on you, baby, it's on you. <laughs> <laughs> I've learned uh, this year, man, from this group, from being in this group, um, it don't take this the wrong way because I I want to say this, but I've learned what uh, black excellence means, uh, and I say that because I mean we all in here black, but if it was somebody, I just say so. Maybe I should change that up, and I should say I've learned what just excellence means, and uh, the reason I say that is because. During 2020, when I uh, when I find myself in a fallen situation or a fallen state, um, I come into uh, this ministry meeting 
something could be said, like James was talking about, you hear somebody else that's going through something similar that you're going through and just the words of, uh, of truth that were being spoken will encourage me enough to, uh, to help me to get up uh, from that state. And, uh, and it wasn't just one time. It wasn't just one time. So the consistency with the ministry uh, is, 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 a, is a big part of that excellence, being able to, uh, to open up these, these forums so that we can bring these things uh, in the company of other believers and fellowship and help each other to grow. Um, I learned patience also uh, during those calls, letting patience have a perfect work. You know, let's say if we meeting on a Tuesday and I fall on Wednesday, man, I got to, maybe I, I might have, I might not have that, might not get that word that I'm needing to hear till next Tuesday, but I got to learn how to be patient until then. I got to learn how to hold on until I can, uh, until I can hear a word from God. Um, so truly all things working together. And my goal for, for 2021, I think, was that the question? My goal for 2021? Or yeah, moving forward. Uh -huh. Moving forward. Um, man. Whew, that's a big question. But I'm going to just say keep hope alive, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it is what it is, bro. It ain't it ain't. You know, you no make right answer, or nothing like that. You can make it. Keep hope alive. You can make it. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, you can make it. Ain't nothing too hard for God. I promise, man. I promise. Yes. Amen. Amen. That's good. Mike. Not, no, go ahead. Mike, Mike I want to say this to uh James when in and, and uh uh and Micah, man, when we, we first started this, Michael Poole, I'm sorry. When we first started this, I was like, okay, this is going to be a little bit longer than a month or so. <laughs> we, we need to re-up and get rolling. And uh, James was so gracious to say, hey, man, because this great St. Matthew had a site. And James was like, man, I like to host it. I'll host it. And um, and Michael was right there because I could run everything right by him when we started. And those guys have been there since then, man. I just want to say thank you all, man. That you talking about patience and faithfulness. That's what it looked like right there. You might be on a larger scale, but what you guys did, that's what it looks like, man. Working for God, showing people here that no matter what, I'm going to be there and I'm going to do this no matter what. And then at the same time, it strengthens you as well. So I thank y'all, uh, Michael Poole and James, man. I love y'all boys. You hear me? Yeah. I love you too, man. Yeah, man. Sure. I, can just, I can bounce up off the wall and y'all boys like, hey, this and do that and because because uh, Michael Porter, I'm just talking to you, Michael Porter. It was like it, it's new. Don't know what's going on, man. What what, what we gonna do here? You know. So it was new. So Marlon, you know. So uh, that's where we are. Um, who's up next? Jaron, good to see you, baby. We love you. Hey, you came, I. You came here to stir up the pot. No, I need y'all to pray for me. Um, my boyfriend got COVID, and I'm getting tested tomorrow. Oh man, we got you. What the world? What's going on, Miss Williams? Hey, you doing all right? Yeah, that's good. That's good. We'll hey, playing. Adrian. What's up? What's up? <laughs> that's good, boy. Um, who, who? Anybody? Who? Anybody up next? Okay, I just got on. What are we talking about? Okay, but we're doing this, and Jared, we're gonna pray for you before we leave. You hear me, baby? Because Jared, I'm, I want to tell you this, and I'm gonna say this. Uh, I'm proud of you from a standpoint. Uh, you know your, you know your uncle, my boy. <laughs> yeah. And uh, that, that's my boy. We wrestle about. We, I mean, if we thought about if wrestling real or not, we had some. <laughs> I'm like this. Come on, man! You, we walk, you we, got to be talking about this because this yeah. loves them some hey, wrestling. I, oh my god! Hey, Jaren, while we walking to Timmy Tans, and let me tell you how long ago Wing Dinners was three fifty. So that let you know. 
Man, that was years, the good old days. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they give you nine or 10 wings. But uh, I'm, I'm just proud of, you know, um, of, of the faithfulness and coming and say, hey, what you're dealing with. And that's important. So I want to hear from you in a little bit. Rusty, what we're talking about right now, we were going to go to the church, but you know what happened. Uh, we want to just encourage some brothers and sisters out there. We want to talk about how important it is to come together. Uh, what we've done coming together, why important it is for us to be in settings like this. Uh, how you've been better, um, how you come become better spiritually over this last year, and what you uh, and what you um, uh, feel like, um, what you pray for as far as in strengthening next year. That's what we talk about right now. Uh, <laughs> Say that's a lot, huh? Yeah, that, yep. that's a lot. I mean, okay, no, but, but Rusty, what I said was uh, wherever no, you want to go, wherever you want to go, in there. I'm just saying that's where you are. Wherever. Right, that's just kind of like all around the topic. Okay. Yeah, wherever okay. you want to be. Anybody next? Hmm. Uh. As far as where I want to go, I want to continue to be stronger, uh, get more into the word. Um, I'm actually kind of grateful for the virtual because it's hard for me to always get to Bible study with Young Life or woman to woman on Mondays. Um, even sometimes on Sundays, like when my kids have something to do, I'm not, yeah, that's one bad. I'm not taking him too many places. Um, so <laughs> like it's, it's, it's better because I can still get what I need mm -hmm. while he's getting what he needs, which is me at the moment. You know what I'm saying? So that's been kind of a good thing. I mean, I, I, sometimes I hate being in the house, but I mean, it is what it is. Um, over the past year, I've just, I've, I've grown and I've honestly had to, you know, make some, not make some decisions, but realize some things and actually try to better them like at one point I didn't I felt like I was okay but I really realized that I was depressed and I actually got a therapist and I'm starting to um, you know have better days take it a day at a time um, try not to let my anxiety get the best of me um, it's, it's like a growing process, I guess. I'm just focusing on me. Like I've been the person that has taken care of everybody else in my family, made sure everybody was good, and I kind of put myself on a back burner. And so now I'm putting myself on the front burner, and that's you know everything: uh, uh -huh. physical, emotional, spiritual, all of that. Uh, so, yeah, that's me in a nutshell right now. Rusty, I want to uh, say this. Rusty, did I cut you off? Because I want you to keep on if I do. Uh-uh, uh-uh. I'm, I'm done. Yeah, Rusty, I want to say this, man. I thank you because you've been transparent with us and some things you are talking about. You know, I, I don't want to go to details. Remember you were talking about, uh, about the Antoine going to, uh, you remember you talking about the, Wedding and all that. You remember you were telling me about talking to us about that. Oh, you. I when I talked about it, that's it, it's it's open. It's fine. Okay, I'm, but I'm just saying. I, I thought that was that was strong that you shared that with us uh, because that, that 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 that's some stuff, man. Um, uh, like Rev. Ronnie. Oh man, I see Rev. Ronnie on here. I think, and that's some <laughs> tough. Like as he would say, that's some tough stuff. And the fact that you yeah. shared. And you're saying that you're getting stronger. That's why I love that Hebrews 10 and 25, man, uh, forsaking the assembly for us coming together is really important because, Jerry, there's some stuff you said you might not even realize that you strengthen us to realize where we've come from. And we're going to hear from you in a second, too, by the way. Um, how it strengthens people that are around you and it makes them stronger, you know? And uh, 
Rusty, I appreciate that transparency. And like I say, it's easy because you grew up with a lot of people as well. But just the fact that you came with that, it just strengthens us. So I love you. It's like it's easier sometimes, but sometimes it's hard because, um, you know, when you know people for so long and they think this way yeah. of you, um, not, in, not that they think good of me or bad of me, but like some people think, oh, she's strong. Oh, she got it together. And then, you know, it's like really behind the scenes, I'm struggling like mug because with everything life is throwing at me, it's like, okay, sometimes I feel like I'm drowning and I'm trying to keep my head above the water. But hell, everybody else thinks I'm laying on the float with a drink in my hand. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and it's like, okay, so to just, you know, tell I ain't gonna say tell the truth because I don't lie. It's just that's what people perceive. But you don't lie. just to actually just let it out sometimes, it's like, who? Uh, okay. And like I used to care what people thought about me. Again, that's another thing I'm not really worried about in 2020 and moving forward. Think what you want to think. I know who I am, what I am, what I'm doing, who I am. So, eh. mm -hmm. so yeah, that was kind of hard at first, but now. Nah, I don't care. Tell it. <laughs> Russell, like your mom, the said, these people don't have a heaven to hell to put you in. Love me in. Love me anyway. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that is so, so I just appreciate it. Let me uh, deviate. I was hoping our pastor would come in here for a second. Rev. Ron, are you here? Yes, I'm here. Yeah, Rev. Ron, we having our last little meeting going over what we have did for the last year and what we're looking for spiritually for the next year. So mm -hmm. I, I was hoping Josh would have you come in just to say a couple words or something, man. Just okay. Well, I, I thank I thank uh, God for this this ministry, the, the crew, and uh, you know it's it's one thing to 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 sing, it's another thing to 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 study and then know what you sing, and uh, we we thank God for. Uh, Rem Junior, uh, he, he did a wonderful job with this this Bible study. He's uh, doing marvelous things with the outreach uh, ministry, and uh, just want to give him kudos. And I want to give each and every one of you. I see your names, and each and every one of you, kudos for, for uh, your time. <laughs> And your, your dedication to to the cause of Christ, and that's that's getting stronger. That's and the only way we get stronger is uh, to, as uh, Reverend Junior say, we got a fellowship, but we still got to have some quiet time uh, with with the Lord. But it's it's good to come in and talk because uh, God made us that way. Uh, that we we are social being. Uh, they they say, well, you're gonna you're gonna get corona or something if you gather. But you know, we we find a way to gather and and uh, with uh, the malls and the malls are packed because people people will want to be around and uh you know and one one day rem junior we'll, we'll be back into the church yes sir. and uh you know i don't i don't want no i want to see i want to see you there and uh if you if if uh <laughs> if any of you now i i ain't talking no i don't know your business so <laughs> I, I, ain't, I ain't shooting at nobody but uh you know uh don't don't when we do get in church, be true, and and uh, you know the vaccine and all that when when you're comfortable in getting it and all that, but uh and the protocols that we're gonna have for the church, but uh don't don't say uh, uh I ain't gonna go to church because I'm gonna get corona, and then go to the nightclub. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, now you know. I, you, you can know, only catch it in the I, church. I try to keep. I try to keep it real. I try to keep it real. And I, you know, I don't yeah. know your business. I don't know your business. 
So, <laughs> so uh, you know, uh, we just want to <laughs> we 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 want we we want to be social. We're gonna find a way. We're gonna yeah. find a way. And so this is one way, and uh, it's it's uh, Reverend Junior has made it to where. Uh, and and you who are participating in, and uh, if you're not saying anything, you still participate, and uh, uh, you use, using your time uh, uh, to come in and hear the word. And so this is not no play thing to to you. Uh, it's serious, and uh, I want it to be that way. And uh, we want to put a uh, rum junior. Uh, as as uh, the facilitator, and he's he, he's a great facilitator uh, to where you can get in your opinions and in your thoughts, and uh, we can discuss it and and don't look at you another way. Uh, that's that's the way I am, and so uh, we we were raised that way with me, Rev. Junior, and uh, so uh, you know you can you can talk. But uh, one thing for sure, everything you can't say in here. But uh, my door is always open. And uh, I'm sure that uh, Rem Junior uh, will we'll talk also. But you, my door is always open. So uh, just just come and, and talk to me or call the church. And uh, I'll call you back. Or you, you can get with Reverend Junior and get my number, and you you can call. You know, you, don't be a bugaboo, but call. You know, <laughs> and, and uh, we we'll 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 talk to you and see what's what's going on. Thank you, Reverend Junior. Uh, thank you, Pastor. Appreciate, appreciate you, man. We all want right, you to come in right. there a couple of words because it's our last one of the year. So I, all right. Uh, well, thank you for the time. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Right, Pastor. God bless. You. Anybody, anybody have anything to say to Pastor? Yeah, yeah. Anybody got any questions? Uh huh. No question. Just, well, I just want to say thank you. Um, you know, for allowing us to keep going, uh, mm -hmm. like for having a, you know, having a, a, a vision. Uh, you know that 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 we can have uh, these outlets. Yeah. And I know it's not just with Young Life, <clears throat> I mean the crew, I know it's with every ministry, but uh, just you know, being a part yeah. of this one the way that I am, uh, uh, you know, I'm, I'm grateful. grateful. Yeah. Well, God, God That's bless. That's what I was going to say. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. And we love you. And uh, all of you. And I just love the church and I pray for you. These are hard times, and uh, I, I just pray for you that uh, you you make the right decisions uh, when 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 the pressure and when tough times come that you make the right decision. And uh, God is is your uh, wonderful counselor, and uh, you, He's a mighty God. He can change things, and He's personal, everlasting Father. And he's peaceful. He gives you peace. He's the Prince of Peace. So it's all in that that gift that uh, uh, you know. If if you don't have anything under your your tree, put put put, put that gift down mm -hmm. and and open open it, and you'll get that that gift. A wonderful Counselor, mm -hmm. a mighty God. Uh, everlasting Father and a Prince of Peace. God bless you. Yeah? Amen. Love you, Pastor. Love you, brother. Oh, love you too. All right, man. Thank you, Pastor. Yeah. Good thing about that, man. Too is with this, man. We ain't gotta wait till Christmas to open that gift. <laughs> <laughs> I, I need mine every day. <laughs> hey, that was uh. What, hey, what you need that? That's uh. What was that? Love Jones. Remember I need my new mercy every day, Lorenz man. Tate, Lorenz Tate say, I take mine now. <laughs> <laughs> every morning. Every morning. <laughs> uh, man, that's good, man. I'm glad Pastor came in. Let's let's keep moving on. Um, Jaren, I want to hear from you, baby. Uh, hi, uh, 
Yeah, I'm just got the shock of my got that got the phone call and I was like, oh god, I want to pull over. But... <laughs> I'm just being serious. That's what we want. Yeah. Mm. It is, you know. But you know, it is what it is, and the, and the thing about it. I'm so I went over my grandmother's house, my mama mama house, because she she wanted me to go because I was getting my stuff ready for school. I mean, it was a good day because I got enrolled. I passed my entrance exam. I'm finna get ready to go be a paralegal. But all right. Then on, yeah. Then on the flip side of that, I get a phone call. Hey, like, hey, where you at? I'm pulling up at my grandmama's house. Don't go in your grandmother's house. I say, why? I got pie. I got tested for COVID. Really? Mm. So I told my grandma, I say, grandmama, just put the stuff on the... I ain't even tell her because she would have told the world. I said, just put the <laughs> stuff on the porch. I just did it. What? I got to put it on the porch? Grandmama, it's COVID. Well, I ain't got COVID. Grandmama, <laughs> Can you just put it on the porch, please? <laughs> Why I got to put it on the porch? Come in here. I want to see how big you done got, Grandma. Wow. <laughs> she wasn't trying to hit. Right. <laughs> I said, okay. But you know what? Well, a lot of the older people, too, they be like, look, I trust in God. And, and they some of them just don't care. They be like, I'm not fixing to yeah, stress myself I, and, behind yeah, and that's what she was saying too, Rusty. But at the end of the day, no, I get we we look for them. Yeah, you're never forgetting yourself. Me. My mama gonna kill me. It ain't even about nobody killing you. You just will have a, 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 a you will feel some type of way within yourself because yeah. she got it. But I'm just saying that's just how these these old people. Yeah, because right then at, at my, yeah, because at my cousin's baby shower, my other grandmother was there. I'm like. Margaret, what are you doing here? G girl, if God going to take me for COVID, I need to see your papa anyway. I'm ready. Really? Wow. Yeah, these old people, they crazy. Girl, I, 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 let me, let me, let me, let you in on secret now. Let's, 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 let, let, let's, we got a temperature there because the thing that we love, and y'all, Steve, you know how we talk about that on Monday night with Kenny. He said, the older saints, they know that if anything goes down, they know God is going to take care of them. But hey, right. and that, yeah, she said, Russ said she said the other side of that is the other side of that is that God blesses us and He gives us discernment how to make the right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, but some some people are all black and all, all all white. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm just saying never. We can't knock anybody for lack of faith. Oh, I don't. I don't. I, I don't. Knock, I, I don't God, knock them. Yeah, yeah, but I think God. I them, but I just got to take my precautions as a. Yeah, you yeah. got to. Russ, he gave you. Russ, he gave you the, the spirit of discernment. He did. Yes, most definitely. Most definitely. But you gotta. But Jerry, you li you uh you listened and you leaned on what you was like. What's what's best? You know. Yeah, I just I was glad that my grandmother came to that baby. I'm like, why are you here? What do you mean, lady? You. You 86 years old. You need to be in her. Girl, whatever. Come take this picture with me. Okay. <laughs> but I'm just, I and I'm mad at him because I he worked for UPS and I done told him, yeah, you, know, you you need a mask. I'm okay. Okay. Now he got COVID. Now I probably have COVID. Now my kids probably have COVID. I'm oh, it's just oh. It, it, it's, right. it's, uh, I mean, you better come get deuce. Girl. Girl. Yeah. He got tested. Yeah. He got tested. He got tested. What's today? Tuesday. He got mm -hmm. tested Sunday and it came back today. Mm. Jim, we, 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 I, I can see the unsettlement. I mean, you're unsettled. We're going to pray for you. We can't make any outcome happen. But I know we can pray, and there's a God, and it, it and it's just like, a man. let me just say this, if you allow me to say this, it's like, um, 
uh, it's like a matter of of the heart. And you're going through something emotionally in a relationship. People can tell you, I'm praying for you, this and that and that. It may not emotionally make you feel better, but you got to know that God can take care of it. And if you, it matters of the heart are different. I'm just equating it to that. But there's nothing that, that God can't handle. We're just going to pray for your, you know, for your, your I, I want to say safety, and I'll pray for your peace of mind. All right? Mm -hmm. Baby, you hear me? Yeah. Uh, so it's, it's, but, Sharon, think about it right now. It's nothing. It's not one silver. It's word like they say. It's a silver bullet. There's no silver bullet that somebody can say that's gonna. Be. Okay, I'm all right now. You know. Mm -hmm. what? But we will be praying for you. you hear me? Mm -hmm. Y'all, let's just bow for a second, and we, if we will, all right. Let's bow. Most gracious Lord, we love you. Thank you for yes, Lord. Lord, we thank you for Jaren. We thank you for her life, Lord. We sure. Thank you. I thank you for just her life, how she said that, how she was a year back and just um, how much she's changed. And when you see how someone's changed and what they've gone through, you can see that uh, we can see how your word and how your change can manifest itself in someone's life. And she said, not anything that we said, she talked about how, it's changed. So, Lord, I'm asking you to just uh, touch her in this situation. We're asking you, Lord, to just touch her boyfriend. We ask you even to touch her. We ask you to touch her body because yes, no matter what she says, you have the final word on anything. I've seen it in my family where uh, mother said that no matter what you say, everything is going to be all right and your will is going to be done. So, we ask that your will be done in this situation. And, Lord, in this yes, Lord. we ask that you. Uh, um, we ask you to just show yourself in this situation. Show her and let her be strengthened in this situation and let her be able to lean on you even more through this situation. So Lord, I thank you to how the changes that you made in her and that um, her kids can see something better in her, that they do see something better and can see you in her life and how it shows itself. But let her know that nothing catches you by surprise. Nothing that happens on this earth ever catches you by surprise. And you got everything under control. Just let her uh, calm her mind, calm her spirit, and let us let her know that you shine best in her darkest hour, and everything is going to be all right. Please bless her. We have perfect, precious, and healing name. Amen. Amen. And thank God. Let me tell you who who else is next. One more. Anybody else? Stephen, you got anything to say, man? Yeah. So you've been yeah. with us for a little bit. Yeah, man. Uh, so just thankful for, um, you know, this. looking at 2020, I mean, it, there may not be people that we personally know, but we've all heard stories, man. It's people who was, went from six figures in January to homeless in July, um, you know, to be able to provide. And, you know, my life has really gotten better this year as far as being able to you know, get deeper into the ministry of uh, being blessed by greater St. Matthews to be a part of uh, the college of biblical studies. Um, you know, God is just, he's, he's showing me, um, not that I, I felt he was gone, but you know, it still feel good to, you know, uh, not only the, the blessings or the miracle of us, him just waking us up, but just different things that happen in our life and people that we care about. Um, and with everything that's going on pandemic, you know, I'm not afraid of, but I'm, I'm not out there at the same time. I'm not, you're not going to catch me in no restaurants, no clubs, no, you know, like what Pastor was saying, you know, like, look, Booker, no, I love to serve, but that's some stuff I couldn't do just because, you know, man, we, could, we couldn't do it. But, you know, to still be able to be, you know, to take part in this, these, these food drives and these things that are coming up, man, uh, to still God to create avenues for us to be able to serve and just bless his people. Uh, it's just been amazing. And I feel like, you know, my knowledge of, of the word has grown this year. My relationships, you know, I see my boy Marlon, I see my boy Marlon once, twice a week, and we get to grow together and learn in the faith. And I build relationships with Micah and and, and James and Jaren and, and, and Rusty and, you know, just all of you guys. And, you know, I'm meeting Michael and, and Adrian tonight. And hopefully whenever I get to join into other meetings, you guys are a part of it. And I can, you know, have that same relationship with you that I have with, with, with these other brothers and sisters, man, it's just, that's, 
not a lot of people can say at any point, even with Zoom now. Now, yeah, you got the church service, but we got 11 people on here that love the Lord and we're growing and learning together tonight. That's something mm -hmm. that everybody needs in their life. And I think we take these opportunities for granted uh, because usually when there's 11 people and you all together with them, one of them don't like you. The other one act like they like you, but they're going to be talking about you when you go to the bathroom. You know, there's all kinds of stuff. But I know that being a part of this, the reason why I can take time away from my family and be a part of this meeting because everybody here is in the same sink of, look, we're just trying to get closer to God and build relationships as we go and serve, man. And that's just a, a something I'm really excited about being a part of because, you know, I talk to other people, man, they just don't have it. So I'm very thankful for it. Uh, something that I want to get better at next year is, man, take what I'm doing and multiply it. Whatever, whatever God opens different areas for me that he wants me to do, man, just be a faithful servant, you know, uh, not get weary in, in doing good. Um, because I feel like sometimes once you do something for so long, like you mentioned, you, you kind of went away from how hard you were studying because you've been doing it for so long. You've been so consistent and just a little change like that. I can't snap y'all. So somebody, if you your mic off, snap for me. Thank <laughs> y'all kill sir. So somebody snap for me. There you go. Appreciate it. Uh, you know, I don't want to get weary, man, in, in blessing folks because there's people that expect of me now to have this this type of attitude that, hey, man, this man loves the Lord, and if I need him in in a form or fashion, I can reach out to him, and I want to be able to help people in that manner. I don't want to, oh man, what he calling for? He wants something else. Oh, he, I gotta listen to him for twenty minutes. Nah, man, I don't want to. You know, I want to be excited that I can disciple to others. So. That's what I'm praying for. Just, just more in that area where I can just pour out and just, cause man, my life is when I really grabbed on the Christ, my life has changed, and I want others to have that same joy. Uh, because, you know, I'm gonna have some come up next week that's probably gonna be like, man, dang, this is a headache. But I gotta be joyous through that trial. So that, that's what I'm asking for. Yeah, that's what's up. I like that, man, because. Uh... Cause uh, and as Steve, I, I, certain people in here know, and certain people might not know. So I'll just want to talk, man. Y'all, Stephen, y'all know Stephen is he's a member, officially a member of Sagemont Church, but Stephen comes to our uh, man to man, and he runs a group. Well, has a group of men that he talks to uh, every Tuesday, and Stephen comes out to help us on um, on, on our food distributions. And uh, because of everything that happened, he was able to get scholarship into College of Biblical Studies, and he's just trying to get stronger, stronger. And uh, Stephen, you know, a lot of people say that they've got things that have left them and subtracted from them this year, but he say he's added to what he's had and spiritually. And, and I, yeah. I, Stephen, I'm just telling you, I haven't seen. I mean, okay, let me, this is wrong choice of words. I haven't seen it, but I'm saying I hear a lot of brothers say how strong you become spiritually. So uh, I, I'm glad whatever role Greater St. Matthew had to play in that, I'm glad we had and we did. And I hope you continue. Oh, hey, man, that, that's that's a big role, man, because, uh, you know, I, I was serving in the in the library at uh, at, uh, at, at Sage Month. And, uh, man, you know, it look, you know, it's, it's a mixed big church. church bro. It's a mixed church and it's a big church, man. A look, big church. That's super, a big church. They super conservative, man. And, you know, they got their beliefs and their feelings. And I, you know, I was like, well, you know what? Let me just step out of there. Uh, they going to be all right. You know, I'm still, <laughs> I'm still tired and I'm still yeah. part of the service. But um, it what, ha what it has done is allowing me to build relationships with Grace and Because Grace and man, like, you know, you guys are still doing virtual services. You're not open it to everybody. And um, a lot of churches, man, can't do that. Um, you know, they have to open it because they feel like, well, that's why the ties have been dropping off, whatever. But you guys, it seems like uh, for me just being a part of this, it's gotten stronger. It's gotten bigger. Y'all bless more people. So that shows me that, man, God is present in this church. So I want to be a part of it. Not right. only the fact yeah, that we ain't having them COVID, we ain't having them COVID services. I'm <laughs> telling you, right? Not, not, I mean, it's a plus that I actually enjoy the people I'm dealing with. It's a plus that you know, uh, 
I can actually call James and we have 20 minute conversations just about anything, you know, it's, you know, every time I talk to Michael, we laugh and we joking about something, you know, book, I think we talk like once, once or twice a week. That's a plus side of it. But I know that man, when I, when I'm involved with you guys, when I come on man to man, um, the level of learning is so high that it's just crazy. I'm literally more, I'm taking notes and then I just go and have a Bible study with my mom and my sister and everybody and my nieces. And I'm just going straight off the notes of what Kenneth said and just giving it to me. Oh man, that's good. Uh, yeah, it's good. <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, until I see a scripture that says I shouldn't do that, man, look, that's what I'm doing, man. I'm just taking this high level of information that I'm blessed to be in, in groups like this. And I'm just giving it, giving it out, man. And I feel like that's what God wants us to do. And while people are out here bickering on, should the doors be open or not? We have in church right now. You, like, why are you sitting there arguing about rights and masks and that? Man, you could be calling, discipling somebody, you know, going over Proverbs. You just, because right now we all need wisdom. So just going over stuff to, to do and to not to do. And, uh, man, I'm just excited that I'm involved in a ministry that that's what they're trying to do, man. Just look, bro, we trying to get, we trying to disciple, we trying to get this info out. We trying to bless folks. We trying to make sure that these, these children who are without, um, because no, we're all adults and we have children. And as far as I know, everybody on here is fine for this year, as far as making sure the kids have what they need. But, you know, man, book the, all this different stuff that you do, man, is as far as making sure people are blessed and these children and these families, man, that's a big deal. I ain't got to orchestrate it. I don't have to be involved in it. All I got to do is show up and put something in a trunk, man. That's, <laughs> if, if that's all I got to do, man, and my skills will allow it. Hey, I'm just I'm I'm gonna show up and do it, man. It's, it's a blessing. I'm, so I'm I'm really excited uh, about it because, you know, my wife is uh she's keeping me alive in this COVID thing. Look, I, Jaren, I probably would have had COVID week one because I, you know, I got I'm, I'm driving. I'm gonna grab me some. You saw about McDonald's book. I got I'm gonna grab me my McDonald's and eat it in the car on the way home. But she shut all that down and uh you know. But I told her I said, well, look, I, every time I go. And I served with Book. He got his mask on. And, and you know, everybody got their mask on. They doing it the right way because she know that's what I want to do. And so, uh, man, I'm just happy that Greater St. Matthews is giving me an opportunity to be able to, to do something that I love, that I know that God wants me to do. And I don't have to worry about, you know, if it's a safe environment or not. Yeah, yeah. You, you, Steve, Steve, thank you, man. I really appreciate it, man. Love you, brother. Appreciate that. I love you, too. You holding the thing, man. And Steve, you know what? I talked to a brother, man, over at Fifth Ward, and and I ain't gonna even say any names, okay? He opened his church because he looked at it as a reason to be able to poach, if you allow me to say that word, some members out for other churches. So you're gonna have some COVID services. Man, that's not like saying what God can do for you, man. Let me try to get these members because you're getting people sick, man. I mean, I'm just saying you have to lean on. Rusty said it earlier, earlier, Rusty and Jaren said it. Well, I can do this and that because God said he's going to do this because here, let me, let me take it back even further, okay? My dad was sick and he had surgery and people was talking about this prosperity. Real Booker, how are you going to preach to your members and tell them what God can do if you're sick? Mm. Just going to tell them I'm sick <laughs> and God heal me, you know? Because think about it. When people tell me that about being sick and prosperity, who do y'all know? Uh, Michael Porter, do you know anybody that's immortal? <laughs> that ain't never, ever passed away. <laughs> it happens, so it's not a problem. You preach prosperity gospel to the end of time, dude. We have an appointment with that. You know what I'm saying? That's why we gotta get it right. So people are preaching this false, uh, uh, philosophy. That's how I thought it was so strong when Kenneth said, Stephen and Marlon last night. Remember he said that people are hurting, people are struggling and these people are still trying to preach oh, if you can show up in a scooter you'll get a Cadillac. You know uh, uh, the prosperity gospel. Mm -mm. We got to preach and we got to be real and know what people are going through. You know, So that's why we do all that we do and we're going to continue doing it. We're not going to just do this to Lord to get members and I'm going to say this, we had the best offering that we ever had in December. And I know this is going online, but it is what it is. That's what God can do, you know? So we have to just uh, have faith and we'll be all right. Steve, I just want to say this. We love having you with us. Hope you don't go anywhere, bro.
Oh man, look, y'all, y'all gonna have to sit me. Well, you can't sit me down in nowhere because you know I ain't gonna go in, in those doors. But you gonna have to have a zoom with, you know, about four people I respect and be like, hey, uh, we don't want you no more. And then I'm gonna still try to sneak in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get Micah. I'm gonna get Micah to give me the zoom password. I'm still gonna try to sneak in to turn my change my name, turn my camera off, and uh. Give me that picture, man, because uh, this you is no Ken. I'm gonna man. go for that, uh, Steven. That camera, I, that well, Ken look, look, look so yeah, camera. he ain't gonna go for it, but look, I host on Monday, so unless y'all get James to give y'all his stuff, y'all gonna have to deal with me for at least two weeks till you till you replace me. But uh, but now, man, this is just this is a uh, it's a great environment, uh, you know, positive environment, you know, people could come in and, and share what they got going on, and man. People are genuinely trying to help them and give them wisdom, you know, and spiritual wisdom along with that on what to do, man. If nobody going to get off this thing and go talk about Jaren's issue and go gossip about it, man. That, that's it's it. a, it's that's a, it's a good place to where we can all just feed off each other, man. And that's, that, that is right now, especially, that is so important. And I'm just glad that I'm, I'm, in, I'm involved in something. And I was blessed because I had three or four different avenues that linked me to get here. Um, and I'm just, I'm just happy, man. I'm blessed and excited about it. That's all right, man. And I look forward to what he does for you, you know, next year. Uh, um, uh, uh, Michael, you got something, Michael Porter? I mean, I know you haven't been here with us all year, but anything you want to say about the group or how important it is to get together or what you're looking forward to next year, anything? Oh yeah, absolutely. Talk to us. To get together for this game and, uh, and be able to uh, bring those personal uh, issues and questions to the group. Hey, Mike, uh, hey, Mike, uh, can you talk a little bit louder? I, I can't hear you. I don't know if it's my phone or yours. Or it it, it might, be the, might be the volume. No, okay. it might be the volume. Yeah. I'm on, I'm on my. I'm there you go. That's better. I can hear you now. Oh, I had the computer sitting down on the couch. You in your new house, Michael? No, it won't. No, they they just they haven't poured the uh, foundation just yet. So oh, you getting it built? Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, it won't be good. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I think it's very important to uh, fellowship and uh, to, um, to uh, share and get and gain insight. And it's not just. Um, it's not just this worldly insight that you get, but it's also the biblical insight. Um, Junior always finds a way to um, basically pull something out of the Bible for us to uh, reference and everything um, and everything that we learned. Um, what I think I, I enjoy most about about the um, about our group is that um, it's not very conservative. And it's it's basically it's realistic, and um, and you know I um, if if I cuss when I'm talking or whatnot, it's not you know I don't have everybody ooh, ooh, ooh you know it's 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 very it's a very forgiving group and everything, um, <clears throat> and it's very realistic. So I appreciate that. <laughs> um, now um, I will say this year um, it did this year has opened my eyes to see how blessed I am because I, um, as Steven said, you know, as Steven stated, uh, previously, I haven't lacked one thing and, mm. you know, I, um, and I can show you guys, um, I have, um, the scripture, um, uh, uh, may the Lord grant you increase, uh, you and your children. Um, and I have it written on the board and I wrote it, um, I wrote it on the board way back in May, I want to believe. And I used to try to change a scripture each month, but I just couldn't find myself. I couldn't get myself to change that scripture. Mm. It was something, there was something about that scripture that just kept pulling me, pulling, you know, me toward it. And so every day, all day long, if I'm walking back and forth, I see it and I say, thank you, Lord, for, um, even in everything that's going on, um, uh, you have increased, you have increased everything in me. You have um, continued to bless my family, and you've continued to bless me. And 
you're you're expanding my territory as you you know as you stated and everything in your word so um i'm just looking i'm grateful for that and um and i'm looking forward as far as next year to um for everything to basically um come to pass that i've been you know asking for and preparing for and been praying for and um everything is just it's it's just a good feeling when everything is working working good for you and um and you know that uh you know that you continue to be faithful in everything and it's going to continue and that's where i am that's what's up you muted junior you muted junior I want to say this more than I want to hear from you and then Adrian. Uh, I want to say this, uh, Michael, I think I appreciate it because, um, Michael, one thing I've seen from you last week, and it really resonated with me. You said that you can do whatever you want to do, but there's some people out there, if you're cool with them or no matter what, they don't have anything to look for, whatever you want to do. You know what I'm saying? They like whatever, man. They don't mind if you compromise your testimony. And Mike, you have the ability to be able to tell people, man, I do this and I made this mistake, but look what God has done for me. The housing and everything. You got ability to do that. But you're like, hey, I'm just gonna um you had a you had ability for people to see um what God can do for you. Not to say God that every move you're gonna make is gonna be perfect, right? that I do this and I do everything right. But he can see that you have a faith that's strong. You have a faith in what you do and how your strength or your knowledge is, that you have something that's greater. What Michael, Michael Poole, what is that? Great is he that's in us than he that is in the world. You know what I'm saying? Something that's greater that's in us. You know what I'm saying? By what you're doing and what people can see, what is God is doing in your life. So I just appreciate you being with us and showing people um, what God can do and sticking to it and, and, and spitting. I was just playing last week about that knowledge, but somebody needed to hear. There's some people that to do some stuff in your life and they don't care what happened to you, bro. But mm. I think what you said when this song, I'm taking you with me because I need the company. If I'm going down, somebody coming with me, you know? And uh, <laughs> they don't care. So um, I, I appreciated that and I see the blessing has in your life he's gonna continue on man no matter what you do just as long as you give him the praise and the glory and you know he's doing it keep having the faith you're gonna go higher man you got it proud of you brother uh psalms 26 9 and 12 if you can and then uh adrian we're gonna hear from you after we finish our integrity topic i'm gonna try to get it done real quick and then we're gonna shut it down for the year and uh steven i'm gonna have you dismiss us is that okay yes sir Okay, we talked about integrity. And I want to say this, Mike, while you get that topic, I want to say this. Um, I talked about integrity. We can't go into why it's important, but I want to read you a quick thing. There are several reasons why integrity is so important. First, living a life of integrity means that we never have to spend time or energy questioning ourselves. We listen to the hearts and do the right thing. Life becomes simple. Our life and our actions are open for everyone to see. And we don't have to worry about hiding anything. We have integrity. We gain the trust of our leaders, our colleagues, and our team. People here, we're dependable and we hold ourselves accountable. Anybody I know in here, if Michael, if Stephen, and Marlon, I'm just using that example. Y'all tell me y'all going to be somewhere. Y'all going to be there. You know what I'm saying? We hold ourselves accountable for our actions. We become role models for others, the ones behind us to follow Last thing, all of this in turn directly impacts our success in life. People who live and work with integrity are more likely, even jobs, to be considered for promotions. And it's a hallmark of ethical leadership. Organizations want leaders they can trust. When you demonstrate integrity, you show everyone you can be trusted. All right? Integrity. Everybody's not looking. Michael, give us that scripture, and we're going to go home on that scripture. <clears throat> Do not take a take my soul away along with sinners, nor my life with men of bloodshed, in whose hands is a wicked scheme, and whose right hand 
couple of bribes. But as for me, I shall walk with integrity. Redeem me and be gracious to me. My foot stands on place in the congregations. Bless the Lord. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. David asked for, David said, as for me, I will walk integrity. When a person has integrity, he has a great defense, a great shield. Uh, character is a marvelous shield against the accusations of men. A good conscience gives us courage in a time of difficulty. I was watching a documentary and uh, I'm not trying to make it seem like I'm sharp and all that, but the thing that I saw, right? It said, um, it said that I liked. It said, uh, it had a line. And you know what it said in that movie? It said, thy threats pass by me as the idle wind for I am so strong in honesty. Mm. That's a beast. That. Thy threats, whatever you say about me, <laughs> pass by me as just a win because I am armed so strong in honesty, integrity. So to finish this lesson, the Christian's defense is the grace of God. His word, because of this, we're able to walk. David's foot stood in an even place. He was not standing alone. He was in the congregation. So let's take the same steps that David took the next time someone slanders us. We don't have anything to worry about if we know what we're doing because our actions are more important than anything somebody says about us. Our integrity when someone's not looking. I appreciate y'all allowing me to finish that topic. I didn't want to go back into that topic uh, coming so so it's a lot happening tonight. So that integrity is very important, y'all, as far as in your Christian lives as you move forward. Because remember, as I said last week, a lot of y'all, Michael Poole, Michael Porter, a lot of y'all in James, when you work, James, you talked to us about packages and things when you could have lied about this, that. The integrity is that's the only way a lot of people see Christ in you. That's it. That's it. You can't go into a church. That's what they're going to see. So I love y'all. Rusty, Jerry, and I appreciate y'all sharing with us. And we'll go from there. Anything, anybody else have anything else? Say what you got to say. And then we're going to turn it over, Steve, to uh, pray us out for the for the year. Anybody I was going to ask real quick, but what was that, that scripture that, uh, oh, you just gave it to me. Okay, appreciate it, Mike. Thank my you. Bad. I just I seen to, it. My bad. I don't know how to work this. I sent it to Adrian. I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> That's because he was over there stuffing his face. I'm still trying to figure out what he's been eating for the past hour. For the past hour, you've been eating. Yeah, man, look, I was like, look, look, he, look hey, Adrian, he put his hand under it. I was like, oh, okay, okay, what you got there? You don't want to drop. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Love y'all, man. Steven, come on, man. All right. Lord, great. we thank you for another successful night of coming together and for worshiping you. Uh, I mentioned earlier, Lord, we're just blessed to be able to yes. get in with a group of people that love you, Lord. And uh, as we go throughout our week, we want you to keep us safe and yes. uh, to, and more than just a week, Lord, until we come back together um, to yes. continue next year and, and growing in your word. And, and and Lord, you know what we need. We had a, had a, had a recent death, Lord. So just uh, please touch those that have been affected. And uh, right. Lord, touch all of us. If one of us is hurting, we all are. So, Lord, we just ask you for continued patience with us and forgive us for our sins. And just, Lord, stay with us. Stay stay with us. Even though we don't deserve it, Lord, stay with us. Yes. In Christ Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.